Actually, I have another Bausch, Bausch clip to share. Sorry to subject you all to this, but for some reason, this imperialist piece of shit still has a following because we're still seeing these clips. And again, just he's going off on another imperialist tangent trying to somehow say that actual U.S. imperialism is not imperialism, but it's actually good and should be supported and anti-imperialist or anti-imperialism is good in theory, but complicated in practice. No, it's fucking not. Like, again, is this Roush person this stupid and ignorant or is he like playing a character? Um, either way, like, it's just so disgusting. And again, like Rania Kalik says here, why does anyone like watching these people? I don't get it. The arrogance and certainty in their very ignorant beliefs, the moralizing, the finger wagging from the comfort of their upper class imperialist core, it's also off putting. <sighs> so, sorry to subject you to this, but here we go. So, he's, that's Bausch, Bausch, Owen Jones, another uh, imperialist hack. I think he works for. Like the Guardian or something, right? Oh, wait, I gotta re rewind it. I mean, it is, you're right. It is, there is a problematic brand of so-called anti-imperial. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, there is a problematic brand of so-called anti-imperialism. I, I mean, doesn't that just say it all right there? He thinks... There are problematic parts of being an anti-imperialist. Again, these fucking hacks are not anti-imperialist, completely in favor and a support of the U.S. empire intervening overseas to violently crush and institute regime change for the capitalist, white supremacist, colonial, settler colonial state. Again, what are people doing giving people their time or money to these complete fucking pseudo leftist imperialist hacks unless you're doing it to make fun of them <coughs> and call out their bullshit like this video which will only zone in on atrocities committed directly by western imperialism yeah, i'm gonna be honest oh, because crazy. again that is what we actually have control over you you fucking idiot i live in the united states the imperial core of this fucking death machine. I have the most control, theoretically, to try to decrease the amount of harm and destruction that this settler colonial regime, that the U that this U.S. empire creates overseas. That is what we should be focusing on. Owen Jones, you absolute fucking hack. I agree, but th th you're right. But there's a nuance, isn't there? Kind of, no, you know... there is no fucking nuance. You're either an anti-imperialist or you support imperialism, like these two fucking hacks do. There's no fucking nuance. There's no two sides to oh, this. It's very nuance. easy. I'm just completely black. No, there's on, not. Like legions of online anti-imperialist leftists. Like how he does it in quotes, like anti-imperialist. Found almost all of them are Assad defenders. Um, <laughs> Look at that. This is total like fucking what TYT did, what Anna and Jenk did to Aaron Mate. An actual anti-imperialist, an actual journalist with credibility. They smeared him as an Assadist, as being paid, you know, by the the Russians. Um, but yeah, everybody who is anti-imperialist, there, you know, they want to uphold the Assad regime. Oh, and even if that's the case, who fucking cares? We don't want the U.S meddling in these other countries completely destroying and wrecking them like they have done to syria like they're doing to venezuela being via sanctions cuba iran the list goes on and on but these people don't care as ronnie Kalik pointed out they're sitting comfy in you know their homes in the fucking imperialist core they're not being subjected to bombs or they're not being starved to death by sanctions they're not having their country occupied having their oil and their fucking food stolen having their 
electricity ration, their medical care ration. They're they're sitting comfy. So what fucking difference does it make to these fucking pieces of shit? It doesn't. Which I like. I have no respect. They have for no have fucking to... no fucking principles. They're hacks again. Recently yeah. encountered them and realized the extent of their conspiracism. A lot of conspiracism. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is literally spouting a conspiracy here that everybody who is against anti-imperialism are Assadists because they actually, you know, have principles and don't, again, want the U.S. government bombing and strangling via sanctions all these countries all over the world because they're, you know, trying to chart their own course. They, they all must be Assadists. Now, that's the fucking conspiracy. I mean, Jesus Christ, these and, people uh, are right, stupid. By anti-imperialist, what they actually mean is that they're anti-American. And not in the cool way, by the way. I'm anti-American in the way that I think that America, the institution, the nation, has failed its people. There are ways we... So, again, this is just showing their social chauvinism. So, like, yeah anti-imperialists like they're actually not they're the, they're the bad kind of anti-american because they actually concerned about you know how america is fucking up so many countries in the global south whether it be directly intervening taking over the country taking over resources like in syria or starving in places with sanctions uh like in cuba iran uh, venezuela nicaragua etc because they actually care about that stuff, like that's not the cool way to be un-American. Let's just focus on here. Let's focus on this social chauvinism. Let's get everybody's stuff here, but fuck what happens outside the borders. I mean, just how fucking disgusting is that take? Wealth and power. Uh, we are not. We're using them poorly. We're using them to hurt people. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Does he not? He. D I don't. Oh my. Like. I'm almost fucking speechless. Like how fucking stupid this guy is. I mean, They're Jesus Christ. Together. They're anti-American because they've just found other countries to defend. Mostly, it seems, Russia. Um, <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, again, the United States is the biggest purveyor of death and destruction in the world. That has been the case for many fucking decades. I don't think it's Russia that has 700 military bases in 100 countries. Guess what? You know why fucking Russia got involved in Syria? is because these Al-Qaeda-backed, these Al-Qaeda-linked militias, these fucking jihadist fanatical militias were about to take over the capital in Syria. Russia, you know, thought, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. They stepped in at that point. I mean, Jesus Christ. Russia is not nearly the horrible actor that the United States is, but Vouch somehow thinks... Russia is worse. I mean, Jesus. So he's also, uh, you know, he's an imperialist, but he's also bought into the whole fucking Russia gay anti Russian rhetoric, which isn't surprising. This kind of seems to be, uh, you know, a thread that connects, uh, you know, imperialists as the buying into the whole Russia gate bullshit. They seem to buy into this just another set of geopolitical power interests. And well, and that, if that's the case, then your criticisms are illegitimate because at that point it's just team sports. It's not a real no, sustained leftist critique of America. It's just you fall Again, the these people aren't on the fucking left. You're not on the left unless you're an anti-imperialist. We've seen time and time again this Vosh Vosh character is not... don't know too much about Owen Jones, but everything I've heard and read from him, uh, he, he's definitely a hack as well. It's a different... And in this case, probably further to the right set of, um, of geopolitical interests, which is deeply, deeply disappointing. Anti I mean, again, this is just a huge case of projection, projection much like TYT when they speared, smeared Aaron Mate. Uh, they were projecting onto him all of their horrible qualities and inconsistencies. Same thing that Vosh is doing here to actual people who are on the left who actually have anti-imperialist um you know positions are and are clear and consistent on that he's 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 definitely not again these guys are fucking hacks do not give them any of your time or money there are so many excellent actual leftist anti-imperialist voices to support financially and with your time ron nikolic breakthrough news uh you know the gray zone 
Mint Press News, Aaron Mate, Ben Norton, Max Blumenthal, Anya Perenpil. Um, forgetting a few Black Agenda Report, The Left Lens with uh, Danny Haifong and Margaret Kimberly. Just the list, but again, so much better option than these two fucking hacks. Again, the only reason I watch any of their shit is to critique it because it is so fucking horrible and I hope some more people wake up to that reality, frankly. Those if you haven't already. Simple in concept, but complicated in action. Again, no, no. It's both. It's very simple in concept and in action. You're either against imperialism, which Vouch and Owen Jones clearly aren't, or you're either against it, which... You know, yeah, they clearly aren't, or, or you're for it, which they clearly are. Again, you, <laughs> it's not that fucking difficult, man. It's pretty, like, cut and dry. Was it anti-imperialist for America to pull its troops out of... Um... Yes, yes. Wherever, those tro- wherever U.S. troops was, doesn't really matter what he's going to say at this point. The U.S. fucking troops should not be there. Get them out. Get them out of... Africa, get them out of Latin America, get them out of Asia, get them out of all these fucking countries is not helping the situation. Again, they're not there for humanitarian ends. They're there to expand and protect the interests of the U.S. empire. I mean, Jesus Christ. In Syria and leave the Rajaban <laughs> population to their own, knowing they would be gobbled up by us. Yes, no matter, again, yes, leave, leave them there. The U.S. should not have been there in the first place. Again, it's simple in policy and in practice. They don't get that. They're either being intentionally dumb or they're, they're, or they're just, frankly, this, this ignorant. It is because, again, they don't have any really core principles. They're just fucking hacks, bread tube hacks. And by Turkey, I would consider that a pro-interventionist perspective. They were our allies, and we allowed imperialism. So again, like, <laughs> take place by no longer with that. How does that even make sense? By getting U.S. troops out of a part of Syria, we're actually allowing imperialism to take place. Make that make sense? You fucking can't. <laughs> we were allowing imperialism to take place. By getting out of a country, we had no fucking right or justification whatsoever to be there with. People in Syria didn't want us there. That was Syrian territory. But us getting out, that's the actual imperialism. I mean, Jesus Christ. Stationing our troops there. <clears throat> I, they, were, they were allies to us and a socialist project as well, the Rajabin. Jesus Christ, dude. They were doing something. And again, the fucking mental gymnastics one has to do to even just listen to this shit and not want to absolutely gouge your eyeballs and like destroy your eardrums like this is this is some really bad fucking shit dude i mean jesus christ it's actually anti it's actually the imperialist position is when we take troops out of a country that we shouldn't be in that's actually that's the actual imperialism taking place. What I mean, face palm like in to infinity. Jesus fucking Christ. So here's Ron again. He says the Rojavans were going to be gobbled up by Assad without America. This is not even a little bit true. The YPG had an okay relationship with the Syrian government. They never fought for regime change. The guy knows nothing. I love how some random person with zero credentials sitting in his bedroom is being elevated as a go-to source. On foreign policy. And again, the only reason I'm pointing out this is because it's such fucking bullshit and they're just absolute fucking hacks. Again, no type of credibility whatsoever. I mean, again, consume your news from so actual leftist, credible sources, anti imperialists. Because again, you're not on the left if you're not an anti-imperialist. Bausch, Owen Jones, TYT, etc. Not on the left. Completely support U.S. intervention. There he said, you know, it was actually the U.S. getting out of Rojava. That was 
the real imperialism taking place because, you know, we left Syria and the Syrian government, you know, would maybe be able to come into that point even though it was their territory. That's the real imperialism. We've got to be against that if we're anti- I mean, what again, what the fuck? So support, you know, places, people like Rania Kalik, Breakthrough News, Electronic Intifada is also another good source. Eugene Perrier also works for Breakthrough News. Brian Becker's good. Um, so again, pretty damn good sources out there to actually get progress, progressive leftist anti-imperialist content. Bausch, TYT, that ain't fucking it. Do yourselves a favor. Disconnect that shit. Stop listening unless it's to mock their ridiculousness and their absolutely shitty um <laughs> ignorant ignorant ass fucking takes because that's all they got man that's all they got like the video if you like the damn video subscribe for more content peace much so all part of